Hello, it's Peter Merrick, and I want to wish you a good evening, a good day, or wherever you are in the world. Our talk is about three types of people we have that actually help us get to where we want to go. And those are our examples, our mentors, and our sponsors. And it took me a long time to understand the difference between the three and I want to share that with you because I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours writing about it, thinking about it, having self-talk, and now I get to talk to you about it. So let's talk about the first category. An example. This is someone who we might have never met, we've heard about, we've read about, and we emulate. And through their way of living, they are our example. And they're not our mentors, and they're not are sponsors but they could sort of be each because what they've done in the past might make our lives possible and better and they might actually guide us however that being said I'll give you a perfect example of what I think an example is what we all think of George Washington however did you know that his example that he followed was an individual called Cincinnatus. Ever heard of Cincinnati? Let me tell you about who Cincinnati was. He was a Roman patriot. Rome was in crisis. He was a farmer. He put down his plow. He picked up a sword. He became a general. He saved the empire and he was offered to become its emperor. But no, he was loyal to the empire, Cincinnati. He laid down his sword, he went back to his farm, and back to his plow. And George Washington, when he was offered to become king of the United States, said no. When he could have been president for more than two terms, he said no. He went back to Mount Vernon. He went back to the plow. So this is something which I look at as an example. Someone who hears the call, sacrifices themselves, follows their duty, and then goes back to live a life. And that's an example. And we've all had those people, we've heard stories about we wanted to be like that. We might want to be Moses, we want, we want to be Jesus, Muhammad, their example of lives that we can live. Some of them are perfect, some of them are not so perfect, but those are examples. Let me share with you what a mentor is. A mentor is a living person in most cases, and this person here guides us, might listen to us, give us advice, move us forward in our lives. These, we're all looking for mentors. We hear so much about mentors. However, I always look at La Seuss as one the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Vice versa. Just because we think someone can be a mentor, or we're told we should have a mentor and find a mentor, some of us aren't that fortunate. And I know much of my career, what I was looking for, I couldn't find it out there. So I would turn to books, and then eventually I turned to writing because I realized, you know, who's going to be our best mentor? Ourselves. That is. You know, we have to be satisfied with ourselves. And the beautiful thing about a mentor is sometimes they are able to see things in our lives and they're able to give us some advice. I know times that I've fallen on my face and I've been depressed and someone who's been on the road a little longer, who's a little older, a little beaten up more and it makes them wiser. These individuals have turned to me and say, hey Peter, you'll have tomorrow. And when I think the light, when, when in those times in my life, when I thought that the world was over, there was another day. And these people, because they had lived to see other days, they knew that the most important thing was me getting up and moving forward and not feeling sorry for myself, because that's the worst thing. And that, to me, is what a mentor really is. Someone who is there and being able to say, hey, move forward. I, 
had a talk the other day about how I had this huge disaster in front of 500 people. Well, at the end of the presentation that we had back in Toronto in 1999, I only had 75 people who had stayed, and I was completely devastated. However, one of my mentors, or someone that I looked towards for advice, and definitely to be positive, said to me that I got up on the stage, and all those people are heckling and thought that I was a disaster, a jerk, or whatever. It's easy for those people to do it, but I got up. And they said, you'll get up again. And I did. And that's what a mentor meant to me. And what it means. And there's, we're going to cover that more and more. Now let me share with you what a sponsor is. I just finished writing my opus, my book. And it's called The King of Main Street. And you know I've talked about it before. And it's basically a letter to myself. I realized when I was writing this book or editing I kept on saying, why are you so anal about making everything perfect? And it really was me writing to the younger me, wanting to mentor and heal the younger me. That's the truth. And in essence, if it helps other people, it's because, you know, it definitely helped me get to this stage. So let me share with you what one of uh, my friends said to me after he read it. He said, Peter, you never had a mentor. And I thought about it, and I said, Steve, I've had lots of mentors. I've never had the third category, a sponsor. And I so much wanted one. So just to recap, we have examples, people that we can emulate their lives, but we've never actually had direct contact with them. Maybe we've read them, we've been told stories, and we actually want to aspire to be that ideal. Then we have mentors, people who can assist us, give us advice, and then we can have sponsors. And what people really dream of is a sponsor. What is that? That's someone who can part the seas for you. Now that you have responsibilities to that person as well, as they help you, you also have responsibilities to them. Now I'm not a religious person. I read, uh, I read everything as a metaphor. And the greatest sponsor that I can think of is God being Moses' sponsor. Here's Moses, he's in the desert, and God comes and says, I want you to free my people. I want you to free the Hebrews. And what does he do? He takes up the call, and he does the work for God, and God then does the 12 plagues and everything. And there is this mutualism that happens, manna from heaven, the Red Sea, or the Reed Sea parting, all these things, it's a relationship. And the way the story ends with Moses is he gets angry and kicks a stone after getting frustrated with the Hebrews. And God says, I'm not going to sponsor anymore, you angry. No, he doesn't say that. However, Moses doesn't go to, to the promised land. He can see the promised land, but he never walks into the promised land. But what is but a sponsor is something that we all want. Someone who's been there, who can help us, who can help us jump uh, levels in the profession and our pursuits that we want. And a sponsor is also someone we are responsible to help them. It's a mutual relationship. And I never had that. However, I gotta share with you the biggest pie I get. I like helping people and in another video I'm going to share with you uh, someone who I know who lives for that this gentleman named Isaac that I'm going to share a story with you later on so please come back and, and join me but that's it for now but if you're not my contact on LinkedIn please press like please uh, invite me to be a friend or make a comment and I look forward to sharing more thoughts with you. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see each other soon.